Why are we the only primate to have a childhood and the only one to suffer the pains of puberty? We humans have a long and weird life cycle, which is not seen in our Neanderthal cousins. And it's thought to have begun with the start of our species 200,000 years ago. All primates make the transition directly from infancy to adulthood, growing more or less constantly and maturing along the way. But our growing years are punctuated by a couple of extra phases, childhood and puberty, or adolescence, which aren't seen in other apes. Our gestation is similar to chimps, nine months for us, eight for them. Yet our infancy, the period from birth until weaning, when the mother stops breastfeeding, is actually a lot shorter than other apes, which don't wean until age seven. Traditionally, humans wean children around two or three years of age. In evolutionary terms, it's about leaving a mother free to have more kids. It's all about increasing her evolutionary fitness. This allowed our species to have many more children than any other ape, which helps to explain why there's seven billion of us today. Puberty marks the beginning of sexual maturity. But in humans, its most distinctive feature is the growth spurt. Boys and girls in their early teens show explosive growth, peaking around nine or 10 centimetres a year for just a few years before rapidly slowing down in their late teens. Exactly why humans go through adolescence remains a mystery. Scientists think it provides teenagers time to develop the skills they need to live in a complex society. Lucky for chimp parents, they don't have to deal with needy teenagers. What other advantages to childhood and puberty offer our species? 